Hi folks. Have a few of these individual sealed lead acid rechargeable batteries. Each one of them is two volts. And um, while well, some of them ain't no good, <clears throat> so I wanted to do a video just in case nobody knew what was on the inside or what they looked like or whatever. So I did. I've uh, dissembled one. Took it apart. So first, I removed the outer case, and then beneath that outer case is basically a plastic sleeve that fits in there. And then I removed the top of the battery, which is the top part here. It's missing that black piece of plastic. And what you have inside is, is this. Rolled up, you rolled up uh, lead plates. So, I removed the bottom. Of this rolled up lead plate and I made a cut down the side and removed the lead plate and here it is. I unreeled it. Interesting, here's the matting. It's like an AGM battery. Or am I saying that right? AGM? I believe it is. And here's the mat. That's basically saturated in sulfuric acid. And there's the, this is the lead side. And then the back side of that is your lead paste. Basically, so your one's your negative and one's your positive. I don't, I don't want to touch too much because I gotta clean this up yet. It's all dry because the battery's old and um, it's no longer any good. So I just want to show everybody what these things look like on the inside. And basically that's what your AGM battery looks like on the inside. Even in your square type batteries. This is the matting you have in between the plates. And here's your paste. And then that's the lead itself. So one of them acts as a negative and the other acts as a positive. And I believe, I won't even say it because I'm not really sure. So anyhow, that's it. And then your top piece, well no, I will say it. The positive is your lead paste part, and then the negative is the lead plate itself. And then here you have it, the top part, which these attach, you can see it where it broke off, where I broke it off. That attaches to the plate. This is the negative end. Uh, wait a minute here. Sure it is. That's the negative post. And that went to the lead plate itself. Different attachments. You can see a different attachment. Here's one attachment. And there's another attachment over here somewhere. Well, it's hard to see. It's kind of deteriorated quite a bit. You can see all this, diff this you know, whatever happened here. I'm not really sure air got in there and dried it out not really sure but it's really really crumbly so I'm not going to move it around too much because I'm just going to make a bigger mess than I have here and I don't really want that now that lead's worth lead weight you know in the recycling place and that's exactly what I'm going to do with it I'm going to put it in the bag and that's where it's going to go to the recyclers as lead whatever lead happens to be worth I'll cash that in for a you know, dollar, fifty cents, whatever it may be, but actually I'll put it in my pile. I have some old batteries that don't work anymore. So they'll end up uh, put in a little bag and that's where it'll go. Okay folks, well thank you for watching and I hope I showed you something maybe you didn't know. So here we have it again, it's one of these batteries sealed lead rechargeable battery 
Gates Energy Products is where they come from. And they're 2 volt, 25 amp hour. So just the same, pretty interesting. Now I salvaged some of these cells and I actually got enough good ones to make a a 12 volt battery. They sell these individually so if one decides to burn out and becomes no good I can always purchase another one and incorporate it in the pack because as you can see the threads here they have these little plates that go across that join them together you know so basically be upright like this and then you take another one and upright like that and then you take another one as upright like that and these little these little plates go across to join your cells together which this one here would be 6 volt if it was just 3 of them a plate would go from here to here you put your lock washers on and put your nuts on top and the plate would go from here to here and your positive would be here and your negative would be here and that would give you 6 volts Okay, folks, well, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you would. And if you already have, thank you.